What is up my people? I hope you're doing good. This is Epic Danny, but you knew that because you have been watching my videos. For that, I thank you. I love you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have not watched my videos. Well, that's okay. I forgive you. You can actually go, click my channel, watch a couple videos, have a lot of fun, comment, and let me know what you think. I've got this new video. I actually got a new motherboard and RGB fans to put on this bad boy and make this PC look like the 4th of July. Let me go ahead and show you what the PC looks like right now. By the way, I'm sorry if the audio is just weird. I'm recording this with my cell phone because since I'm gonna show you how to break down the PC and all that stuff, I'm not gonna be able to do it with the webcam uh, as the PC is gonna be off, obviously. Let's go ahead and show you a couple things. These are the fans that I have at the moment. The whole RGB system is these strips, which I hope are not blinding you, that are on the top. You can see hiding a little bit and making everything look pretty nice. And here are the fans, which you can barely see, honestly. I don't know if you can hear the actual PC, the fans blowing. They're a little bit noisy and you can actually see some little um, rumbling, I guess. That's how you could call it. So I'm gonna put three over here. So let's do this, people. RF120M high brightness RGB fan. It goes from 500 to 1500 rotations per minute. It goes to 56.5 cubic feet per minute. So that's actually very good. It's gonna be five fans, RGB, two fan hubs because the motherboard doesn't have as many fan headers and one sync cable, which is the one that plugs into the motherboard and it actually makes all the magic happen. Yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have, I don't know if I mentioned, but if you have an Asus motherboard, Gigabyte motherboard, an MSI motherboard, Asrock motherboard, it works. Let's go ahead and open it really quick. Uh, I'm gonna probably just show you the fans because the other cables are boring. Five little fans. So I don't know if I should be pulling them from the actual cables. Let me see how I can do this. Almost there. Okay. Oh man, that is nice. They look very awesome. The other ones that I have in the PC right now are the ones that came with the built PC that I bought from Cyber Power PC. I recommend them because they honestly gave me a really nice PC. I've had it for about four years and, and honestly, I can't complain about anything. It's been a good PC. I got it on a Black Friday for like $1,200, which is actually awesome. Nothing bad to say about it. Just the fans sucked because I asked them to give me those sucky fans. And I got nice ones now. We're gonna upgrade slowly, so yeah. Boom, five just like this. I'm not gonna show you the other three because they're exactly the same. So let's go to the next one. Unleash the beast. Boom. Rog Strix B450F gaming motherboard. I was doing a lot of research to see what was the best budget for my actual uh, CPU at the moment, which is an AMD Ryzen 7 1700X. Something that would be kind of the best for that CPU at the moment this one it gives me the option to go to a gen 2 cpu which will start in the 2700 2700x it actually even has if i go to the bio and do a little tweaking it can actually accept also gen 3 amd cpus so this one has a lot of options it's gonna last me a lot of years and it has all the stuff that i really like including rgb in your face you can actually see here amd ryzen 3000 desktop ready AMD Rising Desktop 2000 ready and yeah AM4 Crossfire VR ready which is pretty awesome I hope I can get one day that VR stuff so we can even get even more scared let's open this thing okay. bro sexy this is so awesome. By the way, this is gonna be the first time that I'm actually doing an upgrade. I'm doing like the biggest one. I'm doing everything like backwards pretty much because this is gonna make me break down the whole PC. So it's gonna be very interesting. But okay, so CPU socket, RAM goes in here. Normally you put one and three or two and four. Or if you have all of them, obviously just put all of them in each one. Data cables for your hard drive and your SSDs. This is for your graphics cards. This little thing over here is for the M.2 storage. This little thing is the one that was driving me crazy for the other motherboard because um, I just couldn't find it. I don't think it has it. And this one even has two, look at that. What? 
Oh, look at this. Thank you for purchasing this Rock Strix product. You've made the choice of champions. Of course I have because I am a champion. That's what my mom says. Let's destroy this PC. Okay, so let me just take you with me really quick. I'm gonna unplug a bunch of cables. So once you unplug the, all the cables, make sure of course this thing is turned off and do yourself a favor and click this button a couple times. Make sure all the power or whatever that this had actually drains all the way so you don't end up killing some component. Let's go ahead and break this thing down. So this is the ugly part of a PC. Goodbye, fan. No, please don't take me away. Yes, let's go. Make sure you remove the cooler fan or pump. There we go. So you see, make sure this doesn't get spread all over the place. The good thing is that I have some thermal paste that I can actually apply to this later on. So I'll put some new one. Beautiful. Try to be as gentle as possible with all these components. They are very fragile, especially this CPU, the brain of it all. Let's go ahead and take out the graphics card. Oh man, I had never seen it like this before. Nice. Now that we have these, we can probably just disconnect everything. We are free of cables. So the CPU, I'm not gonna remove it until I actually have the other motherboard installed so I can take care of the little teeth or the spools or however you call them because they are very fragile. Motherboard is not bad looking. This, of course, because it's, it was the old one. And now we put the new motherboard. Put this here, line it up nicely. So, old motherboard, you lift this thing. There, you should be able to lift it with no problem at all. And this is what I mean, it has such little teeth or spools or I don't know how you call these things but so fragile that you don't want to mess with them too much. When you grab the CPU you want to grab it from the sides. Never touch the bottom teeth. Definitely don't touch it. Lift this thing again. There's gonna be this little triangle on, on one edge and you're gonna see one on the other side too which is here so you line them up. Not pressing or anything should actually put it in place. You can wiggle it a little bit but you don't have to do anything at all really just place it and it will go into the right place um, then you just go down and you are done let's go ahead and start with some cables first We got all four of them nicely connected. I think this is probably <laughs> the most difficult part because it's so tedious. I mean, they're extremely small cables, extremely small letters. I mean, if I wasn't doing it with the camera, I couldn't even read those letters. There, HD audio. USB 3.0. These I believe are the ones on the top. I believe we're good there. and plug these puppies in. There we go. I just heard the actual click of the locking thing, so it should be good. This is 
one of the pan hops. I'm gonna plug it there. Let's just go ahead and put the rams. Let's go ahead and put the graphics card. Okay, that shouldn't go anywhere. This goes like this. Beautiful. We're gonna go ahead and place, boom, the radiator with the CPU cooler. I like it. Thermal paste. So you put a very small amount, I'm gonna show you. So I put, it's supposed to be like two rice grains. So I put a tiny bit like this. So that should be more than enough. I know it looks like little, but that's going to, once you put the CPU cooler, it's gonna spread all that dough. And there you go, it's not going anywhere think we're getting there so fans are pretty easy to set up so this RGB was the one I was waiting for RGB so you can see here it says 12 plus and then GRB We're done guys, we can actually finish some cable management and then we're gonna put the PC up. I think that's as best as it's gonna get with the cable management for now. It's not as messy as it was before front here I think it's it looks pretty nice not many cables to be seen everything is pretty organized not too messy either I think it is about time to fire it up guys I'm not gonna lie to you I'm extremely nervous ready three two one wait <laughs> they said this a couple times in the actual videos turn on the power supply so oof, man, look at that. This looks sick. Three, two, one, boom. Oh, sh look at those fans, bro. Okay, so everything seems to be okay. CPU fan speed error detected. Here is the problem going on with this thing, which is, if you see, I put CPU opt and the, and the and the actual CPU cooler is not supposed to be there. If you see on the top, it's a CPU fan, which is actually the one on the top. I was supposed to put this actually here. So I think that's where I messed up. It should be good to go. Getting devices ready, going to Windows. Please, please do me that huge favor. Oh, snap! Look at that, we got an image. Tell me we're going into Windows. Oh my God, guys, I didn't even have to do anything. Windows is good and running. I thought I had to like maybe restart Windows and get the license again or enter the key and all that crap. But there, guys, I'm so happy right now. We're done, we did it. I want you to see the build that we, you and I, got done together. Enjoy it. happy with the build uh, finally we got the motherboard on we got those fans working 
cable management was pretty good i think it was very good actually i know in the back it looks kind of messy but it's just because it's a lot of cables but overall i think we did a very good job but yeah guys so anyways thank you so much for being here with me and i hope you really liked it if you did please don't forget to smash the like button subscribe to see more content it helps me a lot comment um, i really like to know what you think with that being said I will see you in the next video. Woo.